This is a, oh, kind of like a unikite, except it doesn't have the pink, but I can see the rectangular white feldspars are reflecting, and the rest of the matrix is green. So maybe an epidocyte, although I believe epidocyte is quartz and epidote. So this is a unique piece that yeah, blends in with the grass when you get it wet. Yeah, that's a nice rock right there. See, there's one of the large feldspar crystals. I guess the feldspar is a little pink, so we could probably can safely call this a unikite. A nice banded basalt. Just nice, and this is that, again, that basalt with the really rough rind on it so it's probably black inside and just the way it weathers gives it those colors oh wow guys i think this is another one of those um, unique rhyolites with like dendrites in it oh boy that's a nice one yeah sometimes these have very unique patterns. I remember as a kid, as a kid, we would call these DNA rocks, but this one's got a very, very vibrant pattern. Covered with dirt, unfortunately. Um, let's get it wet. I flew here and only brought a carry-on bag. So I'm really uh, handicapped as far as taking any rocks home. We're gonna go to the river later and there I'll be able to collect. And I'll probably beseech my friend Art if I can pile some rocks up at his house. This is another one that if I were at the actual river where I could take them home, I'd probably take this one. Very solid, no cracks. Almost a leopard-like pattern. Nice. Here's the first piece of quartz that I'm finding. And it's nothing spectacular, just a piece of milky quartz. It has a scrape from the machine on there. But there are there is some quartz around here. <laughs> 